let's try not to screw up all down the abyss this time. Alright, well, we got the army losses though. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Welcome to Dan Plays PC Games. I am Dan. We're continuing on with part five of the uh, Empire playthrough here as we await Immortal Empires. Uh, this should be coming out, I think, on Sunday or Monday. Anyway, we're getting very close uh, to release of Immortal Empires. So there will be one final episode uh, of this campaign on the 23rd, the day that it comes out. Um, might continue. Well, it could continue on for a little bit longer, but most likely, um, you know, depending on how much we've played through until that time, uh, then we're going to be moving on and, um, of course, jumping into an Immortal Empires uh, playthrough. And I'm thinking about who we're going to play first. Very excited about that prospect. Um, although one thing is, I definitely want them to have that um, fixed amount of supply points mod. Because I really, really do not like the endlessly spawning towers, especially in the, the minor battles. One thing I also really hate, and I guess we'll, we'll talk about it more in, um, in Immortal Empires itself, is that the, the major walled settlements now have two victory points. So you can't just defend one, you have to defend both, and that can spell disaster. Um, like, imagine if in the Helmgard battle that we just fought and we successfully defended, if there had been two victory points, we would have had been spread thin, and we would have been totally screwed. So actually, it's harder to defend a major settlement than a minor settlement, which is just uh, back asswards, if you ask me. Anyway, uh, we're fighting Skarsnik. It says it's going to be a, um, a, a close victory. I hope that's not the case. They have some night goblins, but for the most part, they just have a crap ton of gobos. So I'm hoping we'll be able to defeat them. Uh, we weren't able to get an ambush going, but that's all right. We have uh, the missile advantage. We should have higher quality troops. So let's jump in and take the fight to Skarsnik. Anyway, it did work out that at least he was, um, he did come out to strike at us, right? So this got him away from his uh, relatively strong garrison or any, I didn't want to fight this army plus the garrison. So hopefully we can run down many of them. I wish I had something like those, um, uh, those wolves that you get with them. Um, with a lot of the Chaos factions and whatnot, Norska, those are very, very fast and able, and actually Skaven as well, and they can really hunt down the enemy. I might look into something, maybe get some Pistoliers uh, to help serve that function. I imagine they're faster uh, than our Rags Guard over here, um, which are decently fast in 66, but not that fast, right? Especially considering, well, let's see, these guys are all in the 30s, so that's not too bad. Actually, it's not bad at all. Look, our, um, our free company and militia are faster than they. Not hugely faster, but enough that we should be able to catch up to them and take them out. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't I think they'll we'll close the distance pretty quickly. Don't really want to be fighting in all this schming schmang over there because it'll be harder for our um, what you may call them uh, our firearm troops to do much effectively. So we're just going to come up here so we can kind of have these guys uh, walk up the crest of the hill as we approach. I'm going to get my swords into a couple of groupings uh, here ready to sort of flank. Uh, what did I do there? That was kind of weird. We'll put these guys here. We'll put some in the center to reinforce. And then we'll put the others. Oops. <laughs> a little twitchy at the moment, apparently. Uh, we'll put this guy over here. Uh, I don't really want to run through you through the trees, so let's just go over here. So Carl's number one, they'll be number two. We'll get our missile units and over here. And then move these swords back behind them. I guess it's possible we could get sort of flanked or something, I don't know. Uh, we shall see. And then let's take the infantry off of guard mode. I always forget to do that. Not this time, so that'll be good. Here we go. We're moving up. That might be a little too far. Whoops. Yeah, let's uh, use our missile advantage. Uh, so we're going to go here and bring these guys over. And we should be able to smash. Well, they are spears. But we probably want to get in back of them, actually. 
but our swords are going to do a really good job against them. So that's going to be fun. Oh, you can get this minimal UI. That's kind of cool. I wonder... I don't know if I can really do a whole lot. Uh, okay. It's still kind of nice. Here we go, coming around. Uh, here we go with the fire. Hold on, I want to pause and get in real close here so we can watch some gubbos die. Sounds sort of morbid and terrible, but uh, yeah, it is the plan. Should we counter charge? Yeah, all right, I guess so. So hold on, let's um, get a control group going with our... Did I screw it up again? No, I didn't. Uh, it's fine. So, lock control group, attack order. Oops, did that work? Yeah, yeah, here we go. And then bring in the swords around the flanks. There we go. And then we'll bring these guys, which is the maybe this side. Ooh, yeah, we better go after those night goblins. Bring you here. Uh, and then again, yeah, I do think it does work out a little bit better uh, when we're kind of like this. These guys can kind of hit everywhere, but yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. Got uh, dinner plans to uh, take care of here. Maybe I'll, I'll edit these kinds of things out in the future. We'll see. But uh, I do want to check out this uh, lovely charge here. And oh, oh, hold on though. Before we do that real quick, let's get Carl uh, in the melee and also uh, buffing up our troops. And here we go with the Reichsguard coming in from behind. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That was absolutely excellent. Couple seconds here. And then we'll come here, and then we're going to come in on the side and take these guys out. Alright, seems to be going well enough. I think actually with these guys, we want to sneak them in here and then have them attack there. That side's a little bit tougher, it looks like right now. All right, are all our guns firing? These guys are not firing. Why not? Hit something. Or actually hit those guys, why not? Because they're shooting us. Ooh, excellent. Another charge. <laughs> that is beautiful. I do love cavalry. So. Here we go. Is anyone, well, some of our guys really got beat up quite a bit. How's Carl doing over here? All right, here's, he's doing well. And uh, what we need to do now is continue kind of folding in uh, as we go. So you are gonna come help here after this guy's gone and so on and so forth. And actually, no, we need to do this instead. All right, I think we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and uh, buckle this flank. Who's not shooting? You're not shooting. Why? There should be plenty of things to shoot at. Okay, he's, he's shooting now. Uh, I don't think that was the best charge we've done. No, that wasn't the best. So we'll pull back. Let's see. I think... Oh, what are you doing? Ah, they got stuck. I hate when they get stuck. Hold on. Uh, all right, so this flank is done for in terms of the gobos. So we'll come in and we got to get Carl to attack that guy. And then we've got to get our Reichsguard uh, somewhere where they can be a little more effective. Come here. Who's not doing anything? These guys, oh, they're too far away. Uh, maybe, mm, maybe we should be hitting like these guys or something instead. 
Yeah, let's do something like that. Alright, here we go. They kind of gotta go through a lot of dudes, so I don't really know how well that's gonna work, but hopefully okay. And then I think... Yeah, these guys are kind of coming back, so we want to do something about that. So we'll shoot these guys, and then await those guys to get a little closer. How are we doing on this flank? Carl's getting a little beat up, 25 seconds. Pretty good, though. This is tougher than I uh, expected, I have to say. It's definitely tougher than I expected. So you guys kind of close ranks over there. Reichsguard, come back. You're really not really doing much over there. All right, but we may need you out here. What are you guys doing? You're supposed to be hitting these night goblins. Okay, that worked out well. Come out from behind and attack these guys, please. Oh, uh, they're expecting it. But, I mean, they're just little gobos, so... Hopefully... <laughs> yeah, they went flying pretty well. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Most of these guys are done for. Uh, let's come back here. Alright, we need to regroup. So we're going to form up a little bit here and grab, I'll take you guys out of the group, but then you guys, I need you guys to form up. I think probably here is better. Yeah, we'll form up in a relatively tight formation here and then get our missile troops to uh, come behind, I think. Uh, hopefully they can have a good line of sight. I'm not sure. We'll try. Where are the Reich's Guard? Uh, Alright, hit these guys before they have a chance to do any damage. Wow, they're all coming back, which is uh, pretty annoying, I have to say. Yeah, not my favorite. Alright, come on. Come through, don't get too stuck. I could probably pull them out the way they came. Yeah, that was dumb. Alright, we're going to pull them back that way then. They should be hitting army losses soon, but yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. There we go. Alright, let's get you out of there. Oh, let's get you back here, actually. Those night goblins really hold their ground. I'm really surprised. Use that ability. Probably should have done that a while ago. I think I'm a little behind on it. Let's kind of shoot these guys. Finish them off. And that'll be the end of it. They must be unbreakable. Huh, I don't know. Very, very powerful unit. But, uh, we need to... Take off guard mode on all of our missile units, and we're just gonna chase off whomever we can. Try to reduce the size of their army. Oops, uh, that's probably too far. Man, well, let's try for these guys then, I guess. You should try for those guys, and you will finish these guys off. Whoa, whoa, what did I do? Oh, I must have hit Alt Tab. Yeah, that's okay. Dumb, but, you know, it's all right. Actually, let's come here and, yeah. Jeez, those guys just don't break, I guess. Well, hopefully we'll catch some of these guys on the way. Ooh, what am I doing? Uh, I should definitely use my Reichsguard. Uh, a little slow to come through, but that's okay. 
Why'd they get scars, Nick? Where'd he go? He was here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's go get him. And then you guys finish this off. Jeez. Really a top unit, that one. Huh. Yeah, we're not really catching up to anybody. But we'll try. Dang. Pretty wild. I don't know if we're going to catch him. He's a quick little bugger, huh? Wow. Very, very fast. Come on. Let's take him out. He's quite strong, so if we can wound him and fight a much weaker enemy, uh, it'll be really helpful. It's getting to hurt. This is good. I think it's going to go down. He's down. How many of these? 23. Yeah, it's worth fighting them. Try to get them down below uh, 10. And I do like how these free militia company can follow whilst moving. That's really helpful. These guys are done. Anything else? Ah, that's going to be the end of it, I think. Uh, once these guys fall, we should be out of here. So we won, but man, that was much, much closer than I ever expected it to be. So I certainly underestimated uh, the goblins under uh, Skarsnik's command. Really, that was quite good. There is a possibility that something might come up for me in a few minutes, but I'm not sure. People have been uh, kind of flaky with, uh, with plans today, which is all right. It's nice to have a lot of potential things going on, but... Uh, minus 5%, screw that. So we'll take the leadership. Looks like we lost one unit, that was unfortunate. Got a bunch of stuff though. Sneak Smiter is the defeat trade for Skarsnik. Ooh, look at that. That's quite nice. 20% ambush success chance and defense chance as well. We could improve public order or lose public order and get growth. We'll spend a thousand to get the public order. Overland destroyed. That's not going to be good for our Imperial Authority at all. So probably good we did that Summoning thing. Wow. And yeah, that was not great. So I probably need to heal up. Because in our super weakened state, I'm not sure we could even fight that thing. We are really in, in poor shape. Well, I guess not that bad. But not very good shape anyway. If we get into encamp stance... Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's go up here. We'll get an encamp stance. Put the hero in the army. We definitely need that. Right? I'm into encamp stance. And then you will walk and hang out together. The Empire. And we can recruit up to three units. Uh, I think it would be nice to have some more pistoliers to shoot people in the back. And um, we just need more spears as well. So let's merge, merge a couple units here, like the ones that don't have experience, maybe. The nation calls. Yeah, that's a start. So we can get one more uh, full spears here. These guys just are not healing as much as I would like. Uh, will these guys merge together? I don't I know. Prince yeah, they do. Emperor. So we'll get one more there. So they were handy for really holding the line. Um, the Emperor's Wrath. What happened to those great swords? So I wonder, huh, I don't know if they cycled out or what was going on there, but uh, anyway, uh, we got Lightning Strike, which is excellent. Let's see, hold the line, increase leadership and melee defense ability. Missile Resistance 10 could be good, Aura Size 50% could be good, although uh, everyone held, so I think that was pretty good. Uh, moving on to Headhunter does what? Local recruit capacity plus one, recruit rank for all units, 
plus two. That's quite good. Uh, Ambush defense chance. Casualty replenishment rate we need. Yeah, it's quite weak right now. But let's go with that one. That'll help out a little bit, actually, towards this battle. I will uh, we could. No, we're done full of recruitment. That's fine. We'll go ahead and upgrade Uber's Reich. And maybe build some defenses here at Isle Heart, since it's a border town. And since, well, we got in trouble last time because we didn't do that. All right. We got our dude here at Helmgart, and hopefully now it's tier two. Uh, it's got a hefty garrison, and we should be able to hold up a little bit longer. And our income isn't huge, so I don't think we should. Uh, I don't think we should be getting another army anytime soon. So let's see, what else could we do? I think that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna check that out later. Do, 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 do. Ah, we need to get our Imperial Authority up, though. This is really not good. Uh, so things that we can do is to return Empire Settlements and Missions. So basically, we're gonna have to head in this direction and fight against the Vampires. But I need to get rid of my enemies first, which I have too many. I've got the Skull Smashers. Uh, which these guys I don't think are prepared to take peace. They're not. Uh, and then I have to take care of those guys. So the question is, so can I raise an army that's good enough here to go after them? I don't know. So. Huh. Well, we'll just have to see how we go. This is my first time playing the Empire, so kind of learning a lot as we go here. But uh, let's end the turn and uh, get the recruitment and replenishment, and then take Karak Asgaraz. That will be what we do to get rid of um, these green skins, the Crooked Moon. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we'll head up that way and then come out and try to replenish our Imperial Authority. Uh, okay. Disagreement can only be concluded with war. All right, so here I really think that there should be a way to get to the diplomatic map. And even in Warhammer 3, they haven't fixed that. So how am I supposed to keep track necessarily of exactly who is more powerful, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Uh, there's just not enough information that's on this screen. So I really think that needs to be improved. So do I want to be on... Um, I don't want to do any of these things, though, actually. So this is the reason why we saved up our prestige and our money, is we could improve our, our uh, Imperial Authority and stop the war. Which is probably a good idea, because people are getting their butts kicked from the Vampires. So we're going to spend that prestige to do that. So now we're at minus three, still not good. But we'll see what we can do Bring here as we move forward. Here's our Spellcaster. He should be a good addition to the army, I hope. Uh, right now he can't do really much of anything. Um, except shoot a fireball. But hey, that's better than nothing. So let's come... Yeah, we have the... And they're recruiting, so we definitely want to get in there before they can recruit. So let's move Andy Weber over here. Are you close enough, Andy, to reinforce? Yeah, I think so. Carl Franz, yes. We're going to summon the Elector Counts, buddy. Alright, it says it's going to be... Um, close victory but we're on the campaign map oh yeah this could be tricky they've got trolls spider riders goblin archers i can see why it might be a little bit difficult and we have a little bit more mobility now but so do they unfortunately we're gonna have to focus fire those trolls and um, do something about these guys as well but we do have two heroes so Let's quick save and uh, how long have we been playing? Hmm. You know what? I think we might save that for next time. So we'll call it quits here. Thanks very much for joining me for uh, part five of this, and I'll see you in part six.